Solve for the values of x and y from this system of equations. x squared minus y squared equals 6. x times y equals 4. Hmm, complicated. How shall we start? Actually, the beginning is not a problem. There are actually many ways, many methods. However, today, I'm going to show you one of the best methods for dealing with this question. Are you ready? Let's go! Firstly, inspection. Hmm, ugly and complicated. With two squares, and here, a product. Who likes it? Nobody. Usually, for dealing with this kind of questions, hmm, what we hope? We always hope that in the end, we can get a new system of equations. For example, x minus y equals something, and x plus y equals something. This is the simplest form. However, for dealing with this question, we can also use this method. Look, here appears a minus. This is a subtraction. x squared minus y squared equals 6. Hmm, so I think if we can get the value of x squared plus y squared, then we can solve the values of x squared and y squared. The values of x and y can be solved easily. So our goal is to evaluate x squared plus y squared. How should we associate x squared minus y squared with x squared plus y squared? Of course, our first step is to square this term, x squared minus y squared. Okay, then we're going to get it's, it is equal to x squared all squared minus 2 times x squared y squared plus y squared all squared. Then the next step, I'm going to square x squared plus y squared. It is equal to x squared all squared plus 2 times x squared y squared then plus y squared all squared. Now we get two formulas, the first one and the second one. Now associate the first one with the second one. Are there any relationships between these two formulas? Of course. What can we do? Now I'm going to do this. Look, I'm going to subtract the second formula, the second equation, from the first one. Then we're going to get this. Look, the left hand side is what? Or you can also subtract the first one from the second one. It's up to you. Now we can get the left hand side is x squared minus y squared all squared minus x squared plus y squared all squared. And the right hand side, x squared all squared, x squared all squared, cancel out. y squared all squared, y squared all, all squared, cancel. Hmm? So, minus 2 times x squared, y squared, then minus 2 times x squared, y squared. It's going to be negative 4 times x squared, y squared. Now, we can get this. So now we get x squared plus y squared all squared equals x squared minus y squared all squared, this thing, minus the right hand side. This thing minus negative 4 times x squared y squared, so it's going to be this thing, x squared minus y squared all squared plus 4 times x squared all squared. So now what can we do? We know x squared minus y squared is 6, so it is 6 squared. x times y is 4, 
x squared times y squared is only 4 squared. So it is plus 4 times 4 squared. Now, 6 squared is 36. 4 times 4 squared is 64. In the end, it is equal to 36 plus 64. Oh my god, it is a nice number. Such a nice number. It is 100. 100 is a perfect square. Congratulations. X squared plus y squared all squared is 100. X squared plus y squared all squared is 100. I'm going to write it here. So now we want to solve for the value of x squared plus y squared. Of course, you're going to say that's simple and easy. x squared plus y squared is 10 or negative 10. Okay. If you're going to say this, mm, you're wrong. Why? Please have a look. x squared is a square number, is a square term y squared as well. We know that a square term is always, always, always non-negative. So that means x squared, non-negative. y squared, non-negative. So the left hand side is non-negative. So how can it be equal to negative 10? No way! So it cannot be equal to negative 10. Positive? Very good. So x squared plus y squared is positive 10. We've successfully got the value of x squared plus y squared. Now, we will get a new system of equations. And the new system of equations is x squared plus y squared is 10 x squared minus y squared is 6. Okay, then what shall we do? Actually, if this is the third one, and this is the fourth one. Okay. Add them together. We can get 2 times x squared plus y squared minus y squared cancel equals 16. And x squared equals 8. If x squared equals 8, then x should be equal to square root of 8 or negative square root of 8. Two times square root of 2. So it is two times square root of 2 or negative two times square root of 2. In the same way, you can get negative 2 times y squared equals negative 4. So you can get 2 times y squared is 4, y squared is 2. That means y squared is 2, of course, then y is square root of 2 or negative square root of 2. However, how many solution pairs do we have? You're going to say 4. Sorry, that's wrong. Why? Pay attention. x times y is 4. 4 is positive. That means the product of x and y is positive. What does it mean? It means that x and y are either both positive or both negative. So, so they can only be either both positive or both negative. That means we can only get two solution pairs. They're either both positive or both negative. So, 2 times square root of 2, square root of 2, or negative 2 times square root of 2, negative square root of 2. Very good. A trick that you should know and you should learn. Give a thumbs up for this splendid question. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.